Welcome uh, at Mlinga Safaris. Uh, yeah, it's day one. You guys arrived yesterday. Uh, we picked you up. Uh, uh, the drive was quite uh, uh, fun, long. <laughs> but um, yeah, welcome here. And uh, we're gonna have a we're, we're gonna have a good day here. Um, probably four days here in the Northern Cape, and then uh, we're gonna head off to um, to Limpopo. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a blast in the Northern Cape. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna go to the shooting range and then uh, shoot our rifles zeroed on 100 yards and uh, see what's going on and then we're going to go off and uh, on our way. Yeah, great. All right. Perfect. Thank you. My name is Dustin Devonport and I'm shooting a 300 Win Mag. <laughs> So I'm Larry Marshall. I'm shooting a 300 Win Mag. Wait a minute. I didn't smile big enough. <laughs> I'm shooting a 300 Win Mag. I'm Larry Marshall. <laughs> I'm in Africa. <laughs> uh, I'm Eric and I'm shooting a 308. The 375 for the Springbok. Hi, I'm Nina Travis and I'm shooting a 308. Four sixteen for Buffalo. That will do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think let's go back and uh, we'll have something to eat and then we'll be on our way. We're going out this morning. Larry wants a red order beast, and then we'll see if Dustin can maybe get a black wildebeest. And uh, whatever pops up that's a good quality animal, we'll we'll make a stalk and see if we can get it. Okay, so let's see. The weather is not good, but uh, we'll work the thick areas and see if we if we can maybe find them there. Well, we waited for some black wildebeest to get in range. Uh, there was two bulls, one young one and one alright bull, but I didn't like it as much. There's another one of some big bosses that I would like to get. So um, we're going to try to see if we can't find it, and then if we don't, tomorrow is another day. So right, uh, Nina, yeah, we're gonna go this afternoon. We're gonna look for a spring buck okay. and uh, see what we get. It looks like the wind has calmed down a little bit now. Perfect. And uh, yeah, let's see what um, let's see what we see there. Maybe we're lucky.
Here goes. <laughs> Great shot. Well done. He took forever. <laughs> yes. Well done, Nina. Great impala. <laughs> well done. <laughs> you made a very good shot. So I didn't even see him. Y'all saw him come out, like stand over here, and said we need to go after him. So he did. And then he stopped behind a bush for quite a while and he'd just go back and forth left to right behind that bush. And so we kind of had to wait for a little bit behind on the other side for him to come out. Um, and we didn't know if he was gonna go to the left or the right. Um, and you said, you know, when you get a good shot to either side to, um, to send it and that's what we did, but we did have to wait a little bit, so. Uh, well, um, congratulations, uh, Nina. This is a, this is a very good um, Impala Ram. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. Alright Eric, we're going off the, the big wildebeest bull. Um, he's about, right about, I don't know, six, seven hundred yards from here. So um, he's actually in a good spot. So let's see if we can uh, dump him. Perfect. Well done. You work hard for this one, man. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, Eric. Um, yeah, uh, we saw this bull this morning. This morning, yeah. And we left him for a little bit, <clears throat> and actually we saw him again um, after. Um, after the red heart base, yeah. and um, yeah, we uh, we went for lunch and we came back. Yeah, Nina got a nice uh, impala. Very nice impala. And we uh, we saw this bull probably on 700 yards away, and uh, we put a stalk into him. Um, yeah, tell us what happened. Yeah, <clears throat> so it was you know we watched him while we we're taking pictures of her impala, and he was standing there, and we knew he was big from this morning. He was pretty, big bodied, so we made the stalk and. Got busted by the bless buck and uh, the little uh, what's the steam buck? Steam buck. Kind of run across there. Then uh, it's just kind of a chase after that and pushing him and pushing him and finally uh, we're able to get to 200 and make a good shot. Yeah. And, uh, drop him in his tracks. So happy with that. Yeah. So well done, man. This is a magnificent um, blue wildebeest bull. You can be proud, 240 yard shot yeah. with a 375. You made, you made a great shot, congratulations <laughs> my man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, today we're gonna go hunt the buffalo. It's been a whole lifelong dream and we're gonna go try to find him, see if we can't find a good one. All right, we're on our way um, to the buffalo concession. It's about half, uh, half an hour drive from here, 7.30. Him again. No, don't worry. Leave it. You got him good. Great shot. Well done. <laughs> good, good little practice, <laughs> little sport. It's a nice bull, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, look at this old yeah. Old old booth. Very old booth. We saw this uh, water bug bull with one horn and yeah, Eric, yeah, you stopped me there and uh, I know you like stuff like this. Yeah, made we, a deal on it. We or? made a little deal on it quickly <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah, uh, you managed to shoot this nice water bug old bull. Yeah. 151 yards um, of that 416. 416 did the job. Yeah, well done. Okay, reload, shoot him again, shoot him again, shoot him again, he's shooting high. No, okay, well, wait, 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 okay. You're shooting high? You're shooting high, so you must aim lower. Don't shoot. Okay, shoot. <laughs> Great shot. Well done, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Holy shit. Yes. Well done, man. Holy this shit. is uh, actually a, a very, very big one. No. But it's yours. Okay. These buffaloes wanna. Hey! One, two, two, and I think the other shot's a little bit lower then. Beautiful buffalo. <laughs> Beautiful buffalo. Hard bosses, look at that, big bosses. We've been uh, hunting this thing quite hard this morning. Yeah. Um, we saw a lot of buffaloes. We, uh, we found this group and uh, we made a good stock on it. You made a good shot with this 416 of yours. Um, I think it was 162 yards. Yes, sir. You know, just come over the hill and just sit there and watch them for a while just to pick them out was amazing time to calm down and just hang out and then when it was go it's go you know you said hey the one on the left he's gonna step out and that was it yeah took, no. the, took the hit and went straight down and yeah, took we went two right down yeah it took two more so that was great and then when the buffalo came to us that was pretty exhilarating <laughs> as well but yeah well once again, congratulations, and I just want to thank Paul as well, thank you know, you. to yeah. give us the opportunity um, to uh, to harvest the buffalo like this. Yeah. Um, very special. Thanks, Paul. And um, thank you, Paul. yeah, we'll. Uh, this is one for the books, man. It is. It congratulations. Is. Thank you. Thank you. What did y'all get? Oh my gosh, it was a perfect day. Yeah. Perfect yeah. day. Two black little beasts and a red hearted beast. Yeah. You killed that hearted beast this morning? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, did. Before nine o'clock. First African animal. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah.
Larry has a bigger smile on I camera. Know. It's like <laughs> up to there. <laughs> Oh, just an amazing day. Lollapalooza. Unbelievable. Larry started with a really nice Lechway. Day three, uh, we're going out for Red Lechway, and then we're going to see if we can maybe find two, two spring bucks. We had a good day yesterday, and hopefully today is also going to be a good one. The weather looks good so far, so let's see what we can get. Okay, we just spotted a nice uh, red lechwe, so we're going to make a stalk on it and uh, I'm just going to make sure it's a nice one, but uh, it looked like a very good one and then we'll put Larry on the sticks and see if we can take a shot. That's it. I like that shape. No, oh, he's yeah. beautiful. Well, congratulations, Larry. Thank you. That's <laughs> very nice. Nice job, Mr. PH. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, congratulations on this uh, beautiful red lechway. Um, we spotted it on about 400 yards and then stopped the truck, got off. Um, got a good stock on it. Good stock. Yeah, yeah. probably about 170 yards. Um, you were on the sticks. And um, yeah, here's that here's your beautiful lechway. Oh, I can't believe it. I didn't even know this animal until this trip, and uh, yeah. I'm very happy to have him. Gorgeous. Yeah, no, gorgeous it's a beautiful, animal. beautiful trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. After that, I guess I. I killed a red hearted beast, uh, which was not on the list, but just perfect timing, perfect conditions. Uh, was able to get it on camera. Really love that. We spotted a head of a uh, red hearted beast. I'm gonna make a stalk and uh, see if we can get close enough for a shot. There's a few nice bulls in there, so let's see what we can get. There's some blaze. Yeah, there's some blaze bucks there as well, so hopefully they don't, don't spot us. All done. Well done, buddy. <laughs> Great shot. Larry? It's a way to yeah, find yeah. it. <laughs> now we're talking. Yes. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Very happy. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, so we, we were actually busy getting some drone footage um, for the video and Took some videos of spring box running off and the red autobies came out of a thicket into an open area with some blessed bucks. Um, I looked at Dustin and he said, well, if there's a nice one, we can make a stalk and see if we can maybe get one. Um, so we got a good stalk on them to a brush. They were about 180 yards away and the bull was in front, quartering two. Dustin made a perfect shot on the shoulder. Um, it didn't go about 20 yards and it dropped. So well done, Dustin. Thank you. It's a beautiful bull. The conditions were just perfect, and uh, you'd have to take what Afri Africa gives you sometimes. He was not on my list, but after Eric and Larry shot theirs, I just knew that if one presented himself, then we would try to take him. So very happy with him. Oh, well done. Thank you. Cheers. And then we went uh, down the down the road a little ways, and I was able to, to shoot a springbok laying on the ground, about 320 yards. We're gonna get off uh, for some springboks. We're in a very open plain, so we're getting shots on 400, but that's a bit too far. So we're gonna see if we can't bed down, and if we can't, maybe bring them with the truck closer.
down. Down. <laughs> oh yay! 100% death, 100% death, but I'm okay. So uh, Reinert spotted this springbok about 500 yards away and uh, they moved in closer to us to about 320, 325 mm -hmm. maybe. And uh, the females got out of the way. He presented a shot and Reinert gave me the go ahead to, to take him. Yeah, perfect shot, dropped him in his tracks. Uh, well done, Dustin, this is a beautiful, beautiful springbok. Thank you very much, on, a lot of fun. After a few failed attempts, borrowed Eric's gun, Dustin's gun, and I nailed one at 500 yards. Amazing shot. <laughs> Miracles Just will happen. Beautiful to see that happen. Okay, we're looking for a second springbok. Dustin got a nice one a little while ago. Um, we're gonna try to see if we can get Larry on one. Here. Yeah. Okay. If it stops, you can go straight on the shoulder. Just squeeze it. And down. Smoke that sucker, Larry Marshall. <laughs> well, shit. Larry Marshall. I did ring my ear. <laughs> did you get that, Mr. Photographer? Not gonna lie, but it was about 500. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, I love it. I love it. I like it when a plane comes together. Good <laughs> Mr. job, Larry. Mr. Dustin, Mr. Mr. Larry. Larry. Well done. Larry, this is a beautiful one, huh? Yeah, he is beauty. Oh my gosh, we got one. <laughs> it took a while. Yeah, this pH was challenged. We got up to about 500 yards and Larry made a perfect shot and dropped him in his tracks. Well done, Larry. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Eric's gun. <laughs> and well done. Great fun. Cheers. Cheers. High five, Larry. Yes. Well done. Just just love it here. This is Africa. Yeah. Amazing. What's behind you? Big Cape Buffalo. <laughs> this is a huge buffalo. Man. Right here. This is my camp right here. Day four. We're going to try for Cape Kuru today. Um, yesterday we were a little bit unlucky with that. And, um, yeah, Nina, we're going to try and, uh, Hopefully we're lucky. Yeah, I think we'll get one this morning. Just behind okay, the Okay, broadside here. The guys looking at us, four, three, two. Point on the shoulder, Nina. On the shoulder. Got him! Got him. Okay, good Broke off. Turn right. Good job. Good job. You hit him good. <laughs> um, I just shot a Kuyu bull. Jim, on the shoulder. Good job. Put it on the safe. No, he's doing well done. Let's go check him out. Yeah. Nice bull. Congratulations. Mm. <laughs> uh, it was kind of a blur, really. We were just going, looking through, saw a bunch of cows. Uh, cows, kudu cows this morning, and then we came across four kudu bulls, and they were quite a ways away. 
and we were able to get a little closer, not super close, and like you said, just shy of 300 yards, and um, got a clean shot on this guy, and then we were able to get in here, and he was uh, still standing, had to put another one in him, but um, everything was good. Perfect, perfect morning, done early. Well, it couldn't have been better. Well, congratulations on your nice pretty ball. Yeah. So um, we're going to work this uh, spring buck a little bit with a plan. There's a camel thorn tree about 100, 120 yards away. So we're going to wait there for them okay. and uh, see if they come closer. Hopefully we can get a shot on them on 200 yards. Okay. Okay. Good. Good shot. Good shot, you know. <laughs> well done. Awesome shot. Do -do. Well done. <laughs> Great shot. It worked. You didn't get the words up. <laughs> no. You shoot him shit. <laughs> well, they move so fast. Very, very proud of you. Yeah. Something. I can add a little bit. Oh, you need to smell it. Oh, you did Nice old one, huh? Right, Nina. Um, yeah, we, uh, we managed to get you a nice uh, springbuck. Um, we had a little bit of a plan yep. with this springbuck. They, um, we saw them on 400, 450. We couldn't get a shot on them. And um, yeah, we made a plan and it worked out. Yes, much better than yesterday. We uh, had some extra help this morning, so I think that was uh, helped in the result. Yeah, this we had morning. the we, we had the A team with us. Yeah, it's what we were missing yesterday. <laughs> so. But in any case, congratulations! This is a very 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 nice um, springbok ram. Thank you. And you made a perfect shot. Thank you, Doc. Good Appreciate shot. it. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, that's concluding our um, Northern Cape hunt. Um, day four, we did good. You guys uh, did very good. I must say, I don't think we're gonna thought we're gonna um, get that much of animals yeah but um yeah tomorrow we're heading off to um, Lampopo and um go for kudu and sable that side we just loaded up all the luggage and the vehicle and all the animals in Dolph's vehicle and we're fixing to head to Lampopo have about a 12 hour drive and at least one milkshake along the way welcome to Lampopo um it's been a long drive uh what's the total 13 hours but we made it thank thank god for that and um but you're welcome we can uh, um we can have a blast in Lampopo. tomorrow i think uncle larry we're gonna go for kudu that's good we'll see maybe we'll get a nice Lampopo kudu and um yeah i'm not sure what's our plans but we'll figure it out tonight we'll figure it out Oh my gosh, I'm in the low veld of the Limpopo in Africa. <laughs> it is unbelievable. Very, very fun. I'm excited to chase the big kudu. We'll see. First day in Limpopo. Uh, we had a long road yesterday. 
But um, yeah, the first morning, nice and hot today. So let's see what we can do. Larry wants to get a, a nice big Klimpopo Kuru bull. So we're going to see if we can maybe put him on a nice big bull. And then depending on what, what pops up, maybe a wildebeest or a nice impala. But uh, that's the plans for the day. And then later on, we might do some night hunting. So let's see what happens. Oh shit. Chill. Chill smooth because I shot. Did he go down? Did he go down? Yeah, I think so. This is a very nice impala. Mm -hmm. Larry, well done. It's beautiful, Larry. Okay, Larry, first of all, congratulations of this uh, beautiful. Impala. We worked uh, quite hard to, to get it and um, yeah we we looked actually for some kudu bulls. Um, couldn't find one. We spotted three females, one young male and then two females um, and then later on yeah, this Impala presented the shot and you made a perfect shot on it. Well done Larry, congratulations. Ah, thank you very much. Very Magnificent nice. morning. Surprise that around every corner in Africa. Glorious. So uh, we're gonna go to Utspreit. It's about 45 minutes from here. We're gonna look for um, possibly a, a good, nice kudubul. Uh, maybe a nyala bushbuck tonight um, or porcupine. So we'll see what we're gonna get that side. But um, yeah, let's hope for the best. Okay, we're on a new new property this afternoon. Um, about 45 minutes from camp, there's uh, kudus, waterbuck, nyala, impalas, warthogs on this property. So we'll see what opportunity comes first and then, then we'll take it if it's a nice one. This is a boa bat tree. Other people know it as an upside down tree because it looks like its roots is on top. Okay, so this is the fruit of the boa bat tree. It's got little seeds inside of a coating. I don't know what coating it is, but it's a certain coat, but you can eat it. You can yeah. suck it and then. If you want to taste, I don't know. Hopefully you're not allergic. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. The no. last time I had one of these, I wasn't. Oh, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Very good. Pretty good. Ooh. Yeah. I, I like it. Yep. It's nice. some kudu bulls and maybe a nyala or waterbuck but we were unsuccessful during the daytime uh, we're gonna have a fire barbecue something get something in our bellies then we're going out for bushbucks later tonight and if we drive into a kudu bull or maybe a nice big nyala or waterbuck then we're definitely gonna take it don't shoot, wait. Beautiful. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Wow. That's a, <laughs> what a big nice piece. What a a big oh, perfect piece. shot, Danny. What a good team. <laughs> good and lucky. That's right. <laughs> Makes magic. Oh, Larry. Perfect. You got a handshake again, buddy. <laughs> good shooting. Oh my. I'm not sure I can control that is a big animal. That is a big animal. He's heavy. Ah, Mr. PH, one of the main reasons I came to Africa. Uh, a great kudu bull. Just magnificent animal. Thank you, thank you, thank That's you. That's a big pleasure, Larry. The bulls were standing there and Larry made a perfect shot on it. It didn't go 30 yards and it went down. So well done, Larry. You thank you. Thank beautiful you. kudu bull. Well done. Thank you.
We're on uh, hunting day number eight, um, the third day in Limpopo. So today we're going out for sable and maybe a big uh, Nyala bull if it pops up. So um, hopefully we get one. That's a good shot. No. Hold on, Larry. Well, that was like a good shot. I think so. Will that be off the little side now? Larry, I know this is a, a special one for you. This is one of your top two that you came to Africa. So um, congratulations. Well, Beautiful. Thank you very much. Beautiful bull. Well, Great job as a PH. Thank you. So we've harvested the little pretty ones. And we've harvested the big, massive, magnificent ones. Very thrilled. Probably have a permanent smile now. <laughs> Proud of you, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome, huh? Thanks for bringing me. Good job, of course. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I love Africa. Oh, Lala Palooza Day. <laughs> so two years ago, I came to Africa, had a great time with Dolphin Reinert, and uh, the last animal that I wanted, well, actually the first animal for this trip, last one that I thought about on that one was the water buck. Uh, so now it's the last animal for this trip on my list, and I'm excited to, to shoot a big one. some clever water bugs that we have seen. Two holes so far. They got the jump on us. Good then? Yeah. Very nice, but this is very nice. Well done, sir. Thank you. Well done, Larry Marshall. Thank you for being here. Well, you he is. Yeah, he's got thick on. Wow. Very. Oh yeah. Oh, very happy and pleased with how heavy he is. It was just a great hunt. I was about to take the bullets out of my gun, and I thought, well, let's hold on just a little while longer, and sure enough, he was in the second row. It was perfect. Well done, Thank buddy. you so much for your help. It's a pleasure. Good pH. Thank you. All right, guys, uh, we are here in the end of the safari. Um, yeah, it went very well. Uh, like you said, we, uh, we shot 21 animals. Uh, what's that? Nine days? Ten days? Yeah. And um, yeah, congratulations. And um, hopefully, we will we'll will see you back um, one day in South Africa. Very soon. But yeah, congratulations on your beautiful trophies. Um, I think you guys did very well. I just want to take a minute and say thank you, thank you, thank you, Dolph, Reinert, Van. Unbelievable trip. My first time to Africa. I really didn't know what to expect, but it's way better than I could have hoped for. I waited 50 years for the kudu, and boy, am I pleased with it. But all these tremendous animals, uh, you know, thank you God, very blessed, very thankful, very grateful. Amazing time.
Yes. How many of these can I collect? <laughs> this is a good shopping experience. Yes. Blida River Canyon. Fantastic, gorgeous, beautiful mountains. Amazing. We're at Kruger National Park. Hopefully we can see some great big elephants today. I didn't take a shower this morning uh, because I don't want to scare the animals away. <laughs> you and that, that's where Dustin learned it. Huh? That's where Dustin learned it. How oh, is it? We asked him this morning, how was your water? And he's like, I don't know, I didn't take a shower. <laughs> Elephants, buffalo, hyena, crocodile, big water buck, two hyena in the road. Yeah, two hyena in the road. A couple, some really good buffalo. So, oh, and a couple tuskers. That one, yeah. really good, yeah. really good bull. Some big crocs.
Malinga Safaris has been an incredible adventure. This is my second trip actually. Um, came two years ago with Dolph and Reinert as well and they put on an amazing show. Uh, had took us on several adventures. I think a friend of mine and I, we shot 17 animals together last time and this time around my second trip um, I got to shoot five animals this time. First animal that I shot was a gims buck. Um, I've actually wanted to shoot one of those for about 20 years now because we have those back home in New Mexico and because of the lottery system I've never been able to draw out for uh, an oryx. And so Reiner took me on uh, gims buck for my first animal this time around and it was just awesome, super excited, uh, a great uh, male. Uh, just couldn't have been happier and uh, this year I was blessed to be able to go with uh, my boss Larry boss and friend and brother and uncle uh, Larry Marshall um, and just really that was the best part about this whole trip was being able to hunt with Larry uh, it was his first time um, he's in his 70s now and he's been waiting 50 years to shoot a kudu and being a part of that of that experience um, Reinert was our PH. He made it so much fun. Um, he shoots quality animals. He's not going to let us shoot something that's that's not quality, that's too small or something like that. For us, um, being from New Mexico, we have no idea what a big one or an average one or a small one is. They just all look fantastic to us. And so he really had to hold us back on some. But that's what I appreciate about Dolph and Reinert is they want us to shoot quality animals. Um, and, and and just I could talk forever about the hunting part but the the relationship and the friendship that we've built over the last few years between Dolphin and Reinert has been just he's just like one of us from back home you know um, and that's what I love about coming back here and hanging out with them and joking around and giving each other a hard time and, and that that's what makes this so much fun um, the facilities that we stay at the food that we eat the the friendship of all the people that are here the owners Dolph and Reiner know so many people in the Northern Cape and in Limpopo I mean we've gone to so many different concessions to find these quality animals I mean it's just it's all about a quality experience and that's what I love so much one thing too I just have to say is Dolph arranged for a photographer cameraman to be here with us Van who I'm talking to right now and he has just been an incredible addition to this hunt He's a PH as well, so he's not just a photographer that doesn't know what he's doing. He's a PH and a photographer, which has just been an incredible addition to this safari. Um, just could not have been happier to have him in the back with us, um, telling us what these animals were, if they were quality animals, if not, you know, how to uh, get into position for the, sh the right shot. And then just being vocal about telling us, hey, let's let's make sure we get this on camera. So if you have a chance, wait, you know, uh, just that kind of quality all mixed together has just made this um, for just such an awesome experience. I told somebody the other day I've had um, I love to travel. I've been on so many different trips around, mostly in America, but been um, outside the country a few times. And my two best trips have been the first time to Africa and the second time to Africa. So it's just, it's been incredible. And Malinga Safaris is, is what has made all that possible. It made it happen. And it's been amazing. I couldn't, we couldn't ask for any more. Uh, the, obviously the buffalo hunt I've been wanting for a long time and turned out way better than I thought. Um, we had a heck of a first day. Yes. Killed four animals on the first day and then to the second and but it's been amazing the accommodation has been great the food has been absolutely wonderful um doff and reiner have been <clears throat> great they drive kind of fast but hey it's been fun <laughs> you know the uh, the driving in south africa is different than at home um but uh no it's been absolutely amazing all the staff has been great everywhere yeah. we've been people have are really friendly everywhere we've been. Um, the hunting, just in general, um, has been great. Um, no shortage of game. No shortage of game, no shortage of seeing things, experiencing different cultures, um, different landscapes. 
it's really way better than I would have ever expected. Yes. Yeah, it's, it is, uh, better than I ever would have thought. And yeah. I just, we've been wanting to come for, I've been wanting to come for forever. And Nina's been on the bandwagon for a year and it's been sure. better than we ever would have thought. And we're definitely already planning to come back. Yeah, we're ready to come back. And come back with Malinga, you know, yeah. do something hyena hunt after hyena at 10 yards in the yeah. firelight. I mean, yeah, I think we might come back and do a hyena hunt, you know? Oh my gosh, Malinga. I didn't even know that name until our SCI banquet in February. And Dolph was there in New Mexico and my buddy Dustin had hunted with him a couple of years ago. So all of a sudden I decided I need to go to Africa. I've waited 50 years or more and now seems like the time and this seems like the place. So Lollapalooza, hallelujah. It turned out beyond my dreams, uh, my expectations. Smooth operation, always on time. And uh, really we were catered to as hunters, whatever we wanted to hunt. Malinga not only uh, worked on, but then they delivered. So I've been looking for a big kudu bull ever since reading Jack O'Connor again about 50 years ago. And uh, just thrilled that I have a beautiful bull uh, gathered up. So the diversity of wildlife and the abundance of wildlife is just beyond belief. I mean, sometimes we hunt several days and don't even see the animal we're, we're hunting at home. I probably have 15 hunts in the last 15 years where I never fired a shot. Well, this quite the opposite. Uh, you could certainly shoot uh, as much as you wanted to here. But we were selective and tried to p pick real representative animals. And it was fun starting in the Northern Cape where we were hunting the smaller antelope, the springbok, um, red hartebeest, little smaller than some of the others here. But always in the back of my mind was a big kudu bull and a sable which were here in Limpopo. So I was having to wait till the last half of the hunt, but then we got to see the wide open spaces of the Northern Cape. And uh, Van, we had you, the naturalist, who would look up a thousand and one creatures from plants to birds to what is that? I don't know how many times I ask per day, what is that? And maybe a hundred times a day. And you all had the answers. <clears throat> except for the magpie looking bird and we had to look it up it was a long-tailed magpie i thought and sure enough it was a magpie shrike and then the warthogs and uh, all the other creatures here just phenomenal to watch them through the binoculars no intent to shoot numerous ones of them all the way to the ponderous uh, cape buffalo just again magnificent huge beasts so fun to watch. The accommodations and the food were just part of that timeliness. We had more food than I could eat. Always on time and high quality. Fanciest tent camp I've ever stayed in here in Limpopo. But uh, luxurious and spoiled and blessed and thankful. You know, thank you, Lord, for the ability to be here. Thank you, Van. Thank you, Dolph. Thank you, Reinert. Spectacular hunt. Yes, 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 yes. 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 yes.